I am going to show you today how to make a layered template out of uh, one of the personal layouts that you made for yourself in order that you may share it with others um, on the internet. The first most important thing you do is um, to do a save as and I'm going to call mine Hummy Template 15. Uh, I Okay, that way you don't accidentally mess up your um, original layout. What I like to do is to make all the photos the same color, maybe all the papers the same color, uh, the elements the same color. It makes it a, a little bit uh, more appealing when you see the preview. So I'm going to choose the first uh, photo and I'm going to hold down my control key and click on the thumbnail. You'll see that there's now marching ants around the photo. I'm going to go to the Edit drop-down menu, Fill Selection, and then I'm going to click on this arrow and get another drop-down menu. Down at the bottom you'll see black, 50% gray, and white. And I mainly stick with these. They're convenient, um, already made up for me. And I'm going to make all my photos the gray. So I'm going to select gray and OK. Now I'm going to find my next photo. Click on the layer to make it active. Uh, hold down the control key. and Click on the thumbnail. And I'm going to do it again. And usually the last thing uh, you used will still be there. That's why it's uh, quickest to go through and do all of one type of element at the same time. And I'm going to do the same thing for this photo. And it, you can see it can uh, begin to go very quickly. This layer here, and I'm going to deselect. You can see is this uh, green paper in here. And so I'm going to select it. And since some of my paper is already black, I'm just going to leave it black. And I'm going to make the rest of my papers white. So I can go up here. And this time, I'm going to choose white. And then I'm going to go to this brown paper and make it white. And the same again with the green paper. You can see it's already beginning to look like a template. Um, I want to go to my tag. I, I remember uh, this is one of my earlier layouts and I was playing with perspective in order to make that tag. and I really learned a lot doing that. I want to make this one a, a different color, mainly just to show you how you can do other colors. If you go to the drop down menu and choose color, I can pick a, a muted green because I like the muted greens and click OK and you'll see that it's turned to a, a muted green. The next step is to change all of your text because obviously you don't want my date and my journaling in your layout. And so I'm going to highlight the date I have down in the corner and just type in date, date, date. I'm going to go to my title, which I see I, I made with the warp tool. I'm just going to highlight it all and then type in the words title. Now it might be advisable to see what kind of font I used and change it to something that uh, is more applicable to most computers. Uh, such as uh, Century Gothic or Arial. Oh, but then it's not going to be big enough. Uh, it's too big. I think I'm going to uh, make this manually adjust the size.
so that it fits. And I may play with that a little bit more um, after the tutorial to get that uh, to get that just right uh, before I share it, but I don't want to take time on the tutorial to do that. Then um, I'm going to do the same with my journaling. And I just begin typing the word journal or whatever fun uh, text you want to put in there to let the user know. And when I get a full line, what I like to do is highlight it and press Control C and then go to the end of the line and hit Enter and Control V, Enter and Control V, and just continue until that area is filled up and it can be filled up fairly quickly. And now that I've hit my diagonal, I'm going to have to do some manual typing again. And the uh, last step is to rename the layers so that the user knows what uh, that shape is supposed to be used for. Just double click on the title of the layer and um, this is going to be paper. Sometimes I might call it a mat. All the gray ones were photos so I could actually easily go through and pick those out and name them all at once. Uh, this one is going to be a, called a tag. Sometimes I will put other instructions in there. If I have some special instructions that I kind of want to convey to the the user. And the last step, let's uh, save this. The last step then is to create a preview and I will choose the save for web feature and it always comes up with an error message because uh, the file is so big and just click yes and let me see if I can get some of this in the screen area a little bit better I'm going to take the larger edge and I'm going to type it as 600. Generally we don't ever want anything bigger than 600 for previews or for viewing in galleries. I'm going to hit apply and make sure it's a JPEG. Hit OK. I'm going to save that to my desktop and uh, then you are ready to um, share it on the internet and I will put this uh, template up for your use and I love always love to see uh, my templates being used so uh, please uh, send them to me uh, if you use this template and don't hesitate to write me an email and ask any questions